All right, guys, so this is news that came out yesterday, but I just didn't have enough time to talk about it. And by not enough time, I mean I had a throbbing headache and I just couldn't bring myself to do another video. Um, I was actually done for the day until the new, um, the leak for the Ju uh, Justice League uh, GVK crossover got announced, and I had to do that. And um, thank you once again, Matt, for, uh, for helping me with that. But today I'm going to, you know, sit down and talk about this video. Um... And talk about the news that came like i said came out yesterday and that is the announcement for nightmare before christmas comics so yeah we are getting the nightmare before christmas comics which the media has made a massive surge come uh, uh, to come back and it's probably because disney's aping off of nostalgia for 30s goth kids god knows that uh, hot topic has been doing that for years <laughs> anyway so it's no secret that Nightmare Before Christmas was one of the things that, if you liked creepy or spooky stuff, that was probably one of your first gateways, along with like Hocus Pocus or Monster Squad, if you're, if you're like in the from the '80s. But like, I'm talking like Hocus Pocus or like Gremlins or like, or yeah, it was one of those gateway movie, the gateway horror movies for kids. Um, Guaranteed, you were probably if you watch that, you were probably going to be watching horror for the rest of your life. Anyway, <laughs> so Nightmare Before Christmas comics. Um, we do know that Dynamite will have a panel that will talk further on this this Comic Con, which we did. It, we have been getting news, and it's always fun Comic Con season. I think we are going to have a pretty decent year, even if we don't have like major announcement from major studios. I've got a, I've got a good feeling that we will be having, like, several, you know, we'll be having several good announcements this year. I think we'll have some nice bangers here and there. But, having said that, let's talk about this. Anyway, so we don't know a lot about this Nightmare Before Christmas comic, other than it's been announced, and Dynamite has been working a lot with Disney. They've been working a lot with Disney IPs, obviously making the Disney villain comics, Gargoyles, um... Darkwing, the Darkwing Duck and Mega Duck miniseries, um, yeah, and the Darkwing Duck ongoing, and there's even talk from we have like Disney villains from Scar, Maleficent, Hades. I think Cruella is also in the mix. I'm kind of hoping we get some a little more obscure. Like I would love to get like a comic about Radigan or McLeish, but God knows I'm never gonna get that, or even the Horned King. But anyway, so we um. They've been really working closely with Disney on this, and Dynamite is really stepping up the IP stuff as of late. They're kind of like what IDW was in their like ma in their major time. I guarantee you, if this was like the or like the mid to late 2010s, I guarantee you this would probably be over at IDW. Um, this would all be at IDW, who are like just eating up IPs left and right. But regardless, um, I think that. Dynamite is an, it's been a good home for the Disney stuff so far, and I'm very interested to see where they're going to go with this. They haven't really announced a creative team for this comic. I would imagine it's probably going to be someone like Jeff Parker or a new writer slash artist for the comic series. I do think that, and I've heard a lot that this comic is going to be a sequel comic. This is going to be a direct sequel to the movie, because Henry Selnick and Tim Burton have been really at odds with Disney with making a sequel uh, because they refuse to do a sequel that is CG, and that's what Disney wants, is that they want it to be CG, and Selnick and, and Burton really don't want to do that. And the only thing that's stopping D Disney from doing it without them is because Bert, uh, like they really like having Tim Burton on their side. It's kind of like when Universal almost got rid of E.T. and then Spielberg threw a shit fit and swore he'd never do movies with uh, Universal again. It's kind of like that. It's, it's very much like that. So, yeah. Um, but we'll see what happens. Right now, I think this is going to be a... F I'm really hoping we get, like, um, like a cool sequel to the comic. I really would like to see, like, things like Krampus. I would love to see this universe as Krampus. I think he would make a great villain to replace Oogie. Although we do... S uh, we don't know if Oogie's going to be in this series or where this series will take place. I'm just kind of spitballing that this will be a sequel series. Um... I think that it could easily be a good com. I think it could be cool to, like I've been saying, like Krampus would be a perfect villain to follow up as like the antagonist for a Nightmare Before Christmas uh, series. 
Um, they didn't really do that in the Sally Origins book, which is really weird. The Long Live the Pumpkin Queen book, it was really bizarre. Like, my girlfriend and I read that, and we were like, the hell was that? <laughs> like, the he what the hell was... I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just, like, um, it was just bizarre. And if you've read the book, you know what I mean. I can't even explain it. <laughs> anyway, um... I would love to see, like, if this does well, maybe they could do, like, what they've been doing with a lot of the Disney characters, is maybe, um, do, like, a spinoff or something. I would love a, a Lock, Shock, and Barrel miniseries spinoff. I would absolutely love to see a Lock, Shock, and Barrel, uh, get, uh, get their own little miniseries spinoff. Or, like, um... Well, I think that's really the only major, other major character that's still alive, unless they do, like, the an, an Oogie Boogie origin story, like they've been doing for Scar. That'd be really cool, too. All in all, my inner my inner child is uh, very happy to see, on you know, an ongoing of Nightmare Before Christmas. So, you guys tell me in the comments below, what, did you, what do you guys think of this announcement for a Nightmare Before Christmas comic? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.